Today we're showcasing WP Forms. On one of our most recent videos, someone asked, is there a way to capture email addresses stored in a database and export it later? And they're asking specifically from our features on how to build landing pages with Seedprod because Seedprod allows you to store the email addresses for people locally, but he wants to do it outside of a landing page. He wants to do it on maybe posts, pages, sidebar, and other areas. And to answer your question, thanks for the question is an awesome question, uh, Gunstig. And I apologize if I'm not saying it correctly, but yes, there is a way to do it. And actually there's two ways that I will show you how you can quickly do that. The first one I'm going to show you is, as we stated here, is by using WP Forms. So to do all of this, let's head over to our WordPress dashboard and we want to install the WordPress plugin, WP Forms WordPress plugins. You can head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP beginner and this will give you the best discount for WP Forms. You can get this to work with any of the pricing tiers from basic on up. So you can pick the one that works best for you. So once you create your account, you can head over to your account area and go to downloads to download the plugin. So we'll download this locally. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and also copy the license key. And then let's head back over to our dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new. And from here, we want to upload the WP Forms plugin. We can either click choose file and then go find it. Or since I already have it down here, I'm going to left click, drag it up and install. Now you want to make sure that you stick around to activate the plugin as well. And then you'll want to go to settings and so we can enter our license key. So here's our license key. I'm going to right click and paste and then verify the key. And once it says it's good to go, everything looks good. Now we need to create our form. So to do that, we'll go to add new. And the cool thing about WP forms is it is a, an awesome contact form plugin, but it also can do so much more. You can automate your whole business processes. You can collect email addresses, which we're going to do by creating, we're saying a newsletter sign up form. It's a very simple form where you're simply collecting their name and email address. And with this form that we're creating, it'll say, don't forget to do the marketing tab to configure your newsletter service provider. So they're assuming you're going to connect with an e email service provider. You can say, close this out and you don't have to worry about, about it. But under marketing, there are all of these that you can choose from when you go in and activate them. If you're not ready to set an email service provider up, totally understand this is the best way that you can do and collect email addresses and their name. And then you can collect them locally in the entries point, And I'll show you where that's at. And then when you're ready for it, then you can export the CSV, import it into the email service provider, and then connect the two. So we're going to set this up real quick. I personally like the simple form where it just asks for a name and an email. So just two simple forms. You can rename this by clicking on the title and giving it the information. You can also change the submit button. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And I'm happy with this very simple newsletter sign up form. So I'm going to exit out of here. And then wherever you're wanting this to go, you simply go into posts or pages and add that newsletter. Or if you want it in the sidebar area, you could do that as well. So for this tutorial, I'll just show you what it looks like going under a post. So we'll go to all posts and I want to add it to my welcome Gutenberg post. We'll edit here and then we can scroll down and find the spot where we want to add this. I'm going to put it all the way down at the bottom and you can either click on the plus icon here or up here. When we hit the plus, we can search for WP forms. And when it brings it in, we want to select the form. So I'm going to select the newsletter form. And now we have that. So we can click update. And now that we've added that, let's go and see what the entries look like. So I'm going to scroll down to WP forms and we're going to go to entries. From here, you can see all the entries that have happened from our forms that we've submitted. This is the actual form name. And since we only have one, we can click on that to see all of the submitted forms that we've done. So this is a great way to collect emails. And then when you're ready, you can export them all to CSV and then import them into your email service provider. So you could create a form and put that anywhere that you want. The second method is by using Optin Monster. Optin Monster is the perfect way to increase your email list and so much more. To get started with Optin Monster, we're going to head over to plugins, add new, and we want to search for Optin Monster. From here, we can click install now 
and make sure you stick around to activate it as well. Once it's activated, you can launch the setup wizard. We'll, we'll ask you a few questions about your site so it can give you the most benefit for it. And you can say no, that we're not using an email service provider at this moment. You can tell them what all you're wanting. Are you wanting to grow your traffic, get more social media followers, all that. We're going to say we want more email subscribers. And then they'll give you some recommendations and then we can click next step. And then you can click here to create a free account to get started. I'm going to be connecting it with a pro version or higher so I can show you all of the features that are available to you. Once you connect everything and everything's good to go, we can go to campaigns to create a campaign. And this is where you want to decide how and where do you want your campaign to go? So you can have a pop up, you can have a floating bar. So that could either be at the top of your website or it can be at the bottom. You can also do a full screen. Inline is perfect if you want it to be on all posts and all pages. It could be inline on all of them. So we're going to actually do that one. But you can also do slide in and you can also do a gamified where you have them spin the wheel to see what they win. That's really good for e-commerce. So we're going to do inline here and then you can scroll through here to see all of the templates to use. And I'm going to pick this one because I've used it before and I like it. Call it email capture. This is for you to know which one it is. It won't show to your readers. And now you can go through and set it up easily remove items, add items and make any adjustments that you want. I'm going to leave this like this. This is perfect for what I want to do. And so we're going to save that. And now we can do the display rules. Display rules mean you can tell it exactly where you want this to go, exactly when you want this to happen. And we want the current path to be on any page and we want to show the opt in. And then you can also choose to show with monster effects. So a monster effect is if it'll bounce or move and it just catches the person's eye. We're going to leave it like this and let's say next step. And this is the summary. So basically on any page and show the opt-in. So let's say save. Under integrations, you can either choose to add a service provider, but this is for people who don't have a service provider yet. Monster Leads is what you can use. Monster Leads, they will collect and keep all of the email addresses and the signups locally in your account dashboard. So that's what we're going to use. And then notice that the note does say that it stores all leads into one database. So if you have separate email lists that you want to keep things separate, then you'll want to add a tag down here if you wanted to. I think for us, this is very simple. We're going to keep it as simple as possible. So this is all good for us. So we're happy with all that. Let's go ahead and save changes. And you can also integrate it with your Google Analytics. OptiMonster also has their own analytics, so you can view the analytics through them as well. And one final thing we want to do is make sure that we publish the item and make sure it goes live. So let's go ahead and click publish. This is a great location where it also tells you what websites is going on, the platform. If you needed to send it to anything else, it gives you instructions on how to do that. And then we see a nice snapshot of what's happening over here. So everything looks good. We can save changes and I'm going to exit out of this. You know, bring us back into our dashboard and now we can say where we want it all to go. So you have two choices. You can either display it manually. So if you just want it on certain pages or posts, you can do that. But if you want it on all your posts, you could say automatically configure and you can choose how many paragraphs, how many pages do you just want it below the post? You can do that here. Or if you want it above the post before the post starts, you can do that as well. I'm going to do below all posts. So we can either save changes here or you can scroll all the way down and save changes. And then when you want to see all your subscribers in one location, we can go back to our dashboard, go to OptiMonster and click subscribers. And this will take us to our dashboard where we can start to see all of the leads that we have in one location. And then whenever you are ready, you can easily export all of them from here into a CSV or whatever format you need. So two very easy ways to get email captures without having an email service provider. So thanks again for that question. It was a great question. And if you want to learn more, then you can check out this playlist where I walk you through step by step on how and why you should start your email list. And thanks for watching.